Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a 12 volt 100 amp hour heated battery from Litime. So let's open it up and see what we have. All right, right on top you have your uh, package of documents and manual information. And then you also have your set of uh, post bolts and post bolt covers. Very nice big thick piece of styrofoam to protect the battery. And here is the battery. All right, so here's what you get. You get your 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and it does say that it's automatic self heating. We'll find out what that means a little bit later. On the top, it does show what the nominal voltage is, which is 12.8. 100 amp hours is the capacity. So that means the rated energy is 1280 watt hours. Uh, the charging voltage should be around 14.4 volts, give or take 0.2 volts. So between 14 and 2 and 14.6 volts is a fully charged battery. Uh, maximum continuous charge and discharge current is 100 amps, and that means that the maximum current output power is 1280 watts. This is a group 31 size battery, so I'll go ahead and put the uh, dimensions and the weight right over here. Okay, so what should you do when you first get your battery? Go ahead and check the voltage to make sure that it was shipped properly. It should be right around 13.1 volts. And this battery is at 13.05, so that is just fine. Next, you should go ahead and uh, charge the battery up all the way up to 100%. And then if you have the ability, do a discharge test to make sure that you are getting the 100 amp hours that you paid for. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll get right back to you. All right, well, the uh, capacity test is done for the 12 volt, 100 amp hour lead time heated battery. And you can see down here that the capacity is 103.34 amp hours. So uh, above what they rated. And look at this discharge curve. You know, it starts off the first 5%, you're looking at like, uh, you know, 12.95. And you can see that for the first 30%, it stays above 12.9, which, which is great. All the way down to 95% capacity drain, you're still at 12.24 volts. So that is a great discharge curve. All right, so now on to the high amperage test. All right, we're all wired up for our high capacity test. What I have is the lit time 12 volt battery connected to my 5,000 watt MX moon free pure sine wave inverter. And what we're gonna be powering is this heat gun. Uh, it should give us right around 100 to 105 amps. We'll go ahead and run that for about five minutes. And then uh, as long as it does that, we'll go ahead and kick it up to like almost 200 amps by clicking on this Elite Gourmet hot plate. And we're gonna run that to see if it can run it for like a minute. Uh, hopefully it shuts off. That would be awesome if it just shut off, you know, a couple seconds in, but we'll see. And then I was reading the manual and it does say that this battery can stand a 500 amp surge for one second. So I'm gonna plug in my ShopSmith cause I know that thing boosts well over 400 amps and we'll see if it can start that. So let's begin. All right, let's go ahead and turn on this heat gun and start the timer. There we go. And you can see that we're pulling right around 102 amps right now. So we'll run this for about five minutes and then we'll click on the uh, hot plate and give it a little boost. All right, well, I kind of fell asleep on the job and it's actually been over six minutes and we're still pulling 104 amp hours with no problem. Nothing about the battery, nothing about the battery is warm or anything like that. So let's go ahead and kick on this thousand watt hot plate. All right, now we've got 204 amps and it's six minutes and 35 seconds. And it turned off. That is perfect. It turned off after about five seconds. Let's go and stop, reset, start. And I'm gonna see if it will turn back on uh, after about a minute or so. Actually, it took about uh, 25 to 30 seconds for the BMS in the battery to turn back on. So I believe everything is working perfectly so far with this uh, lit time battery. All right, I have my amp clamp set at, uh, to capture the, the maximum amperage. So let's go ahead and click this on and see if it starts up.
Perfect. Yeah, and it pulled 403 amps. So uh, this battery can do exactly what its uh, details say it can do. So the next thing we're gonna do is test out the heating part. So I'm gonna drop it down into a cooler that's set at 28 degrees. Uh, I believe it's gonna be my uh, H calorie uh, portable refrigerator. We're gonna leave it in there for 24 hours and then we're gonna see what happens when we try to charge it. All right, well, I've had this uh, Litime 12 volt heated battery in my uh, car refrigerator for the past 24 hours. And uh, it's been sitting there at 28 degrees Fahrenheit, which I believe is like negative one or negative two degrees Celsius. And what's going to happen is I'm going to put on this negative connection right here and the charger will start charging. Now that's because what it's going to do is it should be only starting up the heating pads and it won't actually be pushing the entire 20 amps that this charger can, can deliver. So that's why I have an amp clamp right here to make sure that it doesn't push, you know, it doesn't push 20 amps. It should only push uh, well, actually in the documentation, it says that you need to have at least a 15 amp charger in order for the heating to start up. So let's just go ahead and plug it in and see what kind of amperage we get. All right, I don't know if you saw that, but what it did is it started at five amps and then it quickly shot up to 20 amps and then it lowered back down to 10.6 amps of draw. And what that means is that the battery, the BMS uh, started up and then it realized it was too cold to charge. So that part of it shut off and the BMS turned on the, uh, the heating pads, which are using uh, 10.5 amps right now. So the battery actually worked perfect. And what's gonna happen is this battery will stay in this condition until those heating pads uh, reach an internal temperature of like 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that occurs, the heating pads will turn off and the battery charger will just start charging the batteries. So it works perfect. All right, so what do I think of the Litime 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that is heated? Well, this thing, it's, uh, it, it does exactly what it's supposed to do and what they are saying it will do. It pulled over capacity. I think it gave like 103, 104 uh, amp hours. It, uh, it continuously uh, could pull 100 amps with no problem. And then once you jumped up the amperage, it immediately shut off. And then when we tried to test the 500 amp surge, uh, I was able to do a 400 amp surge and this thing was able to do it. So it's got plenty of surge, but that protection of going over amperage uh, for a, a extended amount of time. When it comes to the low temperature charging protection, this battery is heated. So if it's in between like, I think it's uh, negative four degrees Fahrenheit and 41 degrees Fahrenheit, the heaters will turn on and they will turn on until the battery internally reaches 41 degrees Fahrenheit and then it will start charging the battery. So that's what the heating part of this does. Everything about this battery, I believe worked flawlessly. So if you have any questions about the Litime 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate heated battery, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item and all the other items I use in this video uh, in my description. I also have an Amazon store now, so go ahead and check that out. You can find this video and everything else that is linked along with it. So thank you so much for watching this and have a great day. Bye-bye.